It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be telling you how to turn on 120 frames per second recording in 1080p on the Canon R5, which is a brand new feature from the last firmware update, so you can get some really nice slow motion footage. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. So all the footage that you're seeing today was shot on uh, the Canon R5, 120 frames per second in HD. Sometimes you don't want those huge 4K file sizes. It was shot in and around Fullerton, mostly right by Fullerton cameras. And this uh, video is dedicated to Mike, uh, the former owner, uh, he just passed away. I'm gonna share a little bit at the end of the video about Mike. Uh, but this video is dedicated to him and the footage was shot around his shop. All right, so in your menu, you're looking for something called high frame rate. It's not actually in the frame rate area that you would typically uh, adjust your frame rate by hitting Q and then on the left side of the screen, you can tap frame rate, then set movie record size. You'll see 23.98, you'll find 59.94 there, but you won't see uh, 120 frames per second. So this is how you do it. You have to look for an area called high frame rate enable. Then jump back into your uh, movie record quality settings and look for high frame rate enable. Turn that on and then your, uh, your camera will be set to record in 119 or 120 frames per second. And then um, the adjustments that I usually do I double that frame rate on my shutter speed, so I'm gonna shoot at one over 250th of a second. Uh, I will also probably pull down my ISO uh, or bump my ISO up to adjust the brightness because of that shutter speed needing to be there uh, where it is at one 250th, and then you might also play with the aperture. So one 250th is gonna make your picture darker, so you might want your aperture wide open or you might adjust the ISO. The Mike, uh, former owner of Fullerton Cameras, he's that's been a bit family business for more than 20 years. I started coming to Fullerton Cameras because it was a local camera shop. Uh, Pablo from Buenos Dias uh, Imagery, that YouTube channel, he's a friend of mine that I work with in Fullerton. He introduced me to that shop and I started going there just to pick up odds and ends. And um, so eventually, uh, about six months ago, um, I started talking to Mike because I was taking gear shots on my Instagram and I wanted to have access to more cameras and I, I just said, hey Mike, would you allow me to take shots of some of the cameras you have in the shop and then uh, I can post them on my Instagram, I can give you those images and, and you could use them as well on your Instagram. So Mike, he said sure and he thought I just wanted to pull out a camera and t take a picture of it on the glass case. But then I, I showed him, no, I actually, you know, I stage it, I use lights and he's like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. Well here, you might want to take this camera home then. And so we had this relationship where I would walk into the camera store and I'd say, what do you got new for me, Mike? And he would loan me a camera for a week so I could take, home, take it home or maybe not a week, a few days. He would loan it to me for a few days. I would take pictures of it, bring it back. Um, and I just remember one of the first uh, experiences I had with him. Up until then, I kind of thought he was grumpy. Uh, honestly, that was, I thought he was not very friendly. Uh, and then one of the first things he did is like, oh, you want to borrow a Leica? And I had never shot a Leica before. And so he went over to his glass case, okay. cameras not for sale, that he owned out of his personal collection. And he opened a uh, Leica, loaded film in it, and said, here, take this. And I borrowed that Leica film camera. and and I absolutely enjoyed it, and I have Mike to thank uh, for that experience. I brought it back, but every since then it's been, I just cruise into the shop, <laughs> ask what's new. And the thing is, he was a used camera dealer, a used camera shop, and so he would get things. You were all set to take pictures. Okay. Uh, turned into the shop, uh, and sometimes the day uh, they showed up, he would loan them out to me before he ever put them up for sale. So. I just found he was incredibly generous, journalist, and back in the day, I think he shot film photography for the Chargers. What do I, what do I want to say? I just want to say that Mike is super generous. He was always had time for me. He would talk to me. Uh, if he had other customers, I would normally wait during my lunch period or lunch period, lunch break. But uh, he was super generous and he he just let me try out cameras to my heart's content and he would help me load film and do things uh, I didn't know how to do, uh, especially with the film cameras. He would teach me all the settings and the levers and 
I just thought he was kind, compassionate, and a really cool guy, and I'm really sorry that he's gone. I'll miss Mike. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give me a comment and let me know the best experience you've had with a camera shop. Give a shout out to all the camera stores out there, the people that keep us in gear. Uh, I know there's Amazon and B&H, but give a shout out to your local camera store in the comments and let us know that you appreciate them. All right, thanks.